What a shame for Ford and for Yari Mati Latvala, the latest in a series of setbacks for the likeable Finn. He's fast, that's for sure, as his maiden win in Sweden proved last season. But Yari Mati is sometimes too fast, with spectacular consequences. Big offs last year in his native Finland. And then Germany left the honest Finn asking questions of his own temperament. Stupid mistake, it's a problem there. All too often this year, Latvala's rally has been over almost before it began. The spectators gave him a helping hand in Cyprus. But no one could do anything about this massive crash last time out in Portugal. The biggest of his life and one of the biggest in rally history. First feeling when I, uh, I went over the barrier and I rolled. First time I, I thought that he's going to be true. Why again from the lead? And uh, then it started to keep going, keep going. And even more and more. And then you start to be scared. That what's going to happen? Where this going to end? Just... I get, um, you know, my hands in steering and close my eyes, and but suddenly a few points, I, I open my eyes and saw so roll cage is coming a little bit down, and uh, for a moment I I thought that we cannot survive because I thought that we the car will be just pop together and we'll be crashed inside, but um, the first thing when the car stopped um, it was the big relief, the big relief it finally stopped. It was a little bit scary at first when I looked at Mika when his eyes was completely red and I think so because he was hanging upside down so all the blood was, was getting in, in the head and that's why the eyes were completely red but there's nothing, nothing luckily that was, that was nothing, nothing serious. Nothing serious and of course now millions of people around the world have watched it. It's instantly gone down in history as one of the most spectacular crashes ever. Well, um, the plan was to, to create publicity by doing all good results. <laughs> we managed to do some publicity, but that wasn't the right, the right way to do it. Um, if this were The Apprentice, then you'd get Alan Sugar going, you're fired. If you were Malcolm Wilson, would Latvala still be in the car now? If you didn't have the speed and if you get crashing, then you have a question why you have this driver trying for, you know, for the factory team. But once you have the speed and you, you can fight against the best driver in the championship history ever uh, and still, uh, okay, happens crashes, but you know that maybe one day you, when you have the speed you can get um, consistent, but it's difficult if you, don't, if, if you don't have the speed, you need to first find the consistency and after that you have to find the speed. Okay, we have had crashes now this year quite a lot, so it means I have been I have tried to improve, and um, but then also it's about for me of course the passion is is to I want to win, and but it doesn't it's not so easy and uh, sometimes you know you start to push really really hard, and maybe you forget things that what you should have been improving in the rally, and that's the thing. To remember these things when you have your helmet on, and in the old days you lose drivers like Colin McRae, he used to have some crashes as well, and uh, Tommy Mackinnon, and uh, okay, obviously I have had some crashes now, so um, I think that the sport has a little bit changed, and uh, that is that I'm still the old school You're the driver, old school, <laughs> old school guy, so it's making the, my situation a bit difficult. That's what the local commentary sounds like. Let's see if Paul King can keep up. The 